Hey everybody, Anissa here. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you're a returning subscriber, it's good to hang out with you again. Let me know if you're new or if you're one of my returning subbies down in the comments below so I can say hey back to you personally. Today's glam is themed after Pride Month. We're doing this fun like rainbow cut crease. It's like my first time trying something so like kind of like vibrant and unconventional believe it or not like usually i do go to pride parade with my co-workers um, my job actually sponsors a float always in the parade in saint pete florida so i'm always there and usually my makeup is just like my neutrals and then some glitter on my face but i decided you know what it is time to get festive and i'm doing so with a fellow youtuber from the channel is that your hair her name is gladys so she's gonna help you slay the pride wig i'm gonna help you slay the pride makeup and you will be ready for your local pride celebration or if you just want to do it a stay at home which is literally what i'm doing tonight while i'm recording this <laughs> Other than that, you know, happy Pride Month to everybody. You know, I have so many dear friends of mine that are part of LGBTQ plus community, and I'm always happy to support and celebrate them. I'm going to get teary-eyed. I have so many friends who've had coming out stories to me and, like, have gone through things. So, you know what? Everybody needs a little support, and that's what I'm here to do with some glam today. So let's get in to it also before we get into the glam i know it keeps looking like i'm topless in photos but it's so hot in florida i'm wearing like bandos around the house so you're gonna see a lot of clavicle but i promise i'm clothed <laughs> let's just get into the makeup all right so we're gonna get started by prepping the lids of course with my nyx hd eyeshadow primer is what i always use and it's my go-to um, I accidentally actually filmed <laughs> me not putting it on, so I'm just going to add another layer for y'all. Now I'm going to take my ColourPop concealer, and I'm just doing this over the eyeshadow primer because I really want this to match my skin tone as much as possible. Um, usually I'm doing all my foundation at this time, but now I'm just going to add some concealer to blend it into the skin, but the eyeshadow primer will make it stick. And you just want to blend it down as smoothly as possible so it's one smooth layer on your lid. Now I'm going to add some tape on the outer corner of the eye just to keep that edge very clean. Since we're doing a cut crease, we're going to have a little negative space at the end of the lid. It also helps with fallout, so I really want that as well. I'm just going to pick up a skin tone like color here and I'm going to use that just to set the entire lid. You just need a little fluffy brush and I just like this because again it just evens out the base so it looks as blended as possible to the rest of your face. Now I'm going to pick up the NYX Ultimate Edit. This one was perfect. I saw it and also I was like yes this is Pride Makeup. It's perfect to make a rainbow and I'm just gonna take like a pretty much like a bullet type blender this one's the morphe e18 it's very dome shaped and it's gonna pack all these colors along the crease so I'm just going right above the crease it's almost into that transition area of the lid and I'm starting on the outer corner with the purple cut shade so I'm just packing it and lightly blending it now I'll pick up blue and I'm going to layer it right next to the purple in a little overlapping. That will help with blending so you don't have to mess with this too much. Now I'm gonna go with the green and again, I'm layering it right next to the blue and a little overlapping and just take your time packing this shadow in. It's okay if a little bit gets down onto the main part of your lid because we're gonna be cutting a crease. But again, try to keep it right along where that bone structure is on your eye. You wanna pop in your yellow next. Again, you're just gradually building it up. And I'm using the same brush, but just cleaning it, just wiping it on a towel in between colors. This color is a little tricky, so you will see me go over it several times. The deeper shades had a little more pigment to it, but the yellow was a little tricky, and so is like the orangey coral color I'm picking up right now. So again, I'm just packing that onto my brush. The more the merrier, and then packing it onto the lid, layering it over. 
like so. And this one, again, it didn't show up as much as I wanted it to initially, but just a little patience layering and packing and layering and packing will build up the impact of the shadow. Now I'm going in the very most inner corner with the pink. I love pink. And again, if it's not too neat, don't worry. We're gonna blend it and make it perfect towards the end. Again, this is another one I just built up intensity. Now I'm just grabbing my Morphe, it's like a tapered blender brush, M3330 I believe, and I'm lightly, lightly stippling. I don't, again, want the colors to interact too much. I just wanna blend out the edge so it just goes into the brow bone very nicely. No harsh lines. And I'm going back in and building up the impact where I feel like some of that color got lost in translation. Again, you can do this as many times. It's one of these type of application processes where you want to just take your time, go and put in the color, see how it looks, and add when you feel like it's necessary. And again, with that yellow, I definitely felt that. I'm doing the last bit of blending and I'm barely touching my lid, just super light blending. Now I'm grabbing the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. Um, it has like a brush applicator that helps you like perfect the cut crease. And that way you don't have to use your concealer. I know you could use a, um, a concealer brush, but sometimes I just want like something just for that. And I was really curious to try this. It was like a skin tone shade and it seemed like it would work, which it is doing. And it's pretty liquidy, so you just have to go in very thinly with it. And I'm just layering it on that color to cut the crease. And I'm following a natural shape of my lid to do so. If you have a little more of a hooded eye, this may be a little tricky, just take your time. You'll have to fake a cut crease, but it's totally possible. And I'm trying to smooth out these layers because I need it to dry down very evenly. So again, just take your time. I'm going to do the other side like really quickly and let it dry off camera. It took about, uh, about, about five minutes for this to dry down actually. So this part probably took the longest to set. Next, I'm gonna grab my Kaja Beauty Bento Eyeshadow Trio in the shade Orange Blossom. The top shade is like this really pretty champagne shimmer. It's not heavily glittery at all. And I'm just going to layer that on top of the cut crease so it just looks like a shimmery skin tone like color. And I think that too just complements the overall eye look really well. And you know me, I like some shimmer. So we need some shimmer. I'm packing that on just with like a flat eyeshadow brush. And again, just take your time. You wanna pack it on so it's a very even layer and everything from the cut crease canvas is properly covered. Next, I'm grabbing the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. So pretty, I love this color story. And I'm gonna pick up the color Sandbar right here to further define the pink on this inner corner. I want it to pop a little more and this 
will do it. Now I'm gonna grab Caddy, and this I'm gonna pop on the outer corner just to layer over that existing purple again, just to add some depth, some richness, and further define this look. I'm going back in with the same Morphe E17 brush. So again, I'm not switching brushes, I'm just cleaning it in between application on a dry towel. Now I'm gonna grab the color Trove and start smudging that onto the lower lash line. I just thought purple will pull this look all together instead of mimicking a rainbow on my lower lash line. I wanted to keep it a little simple and give my lower lash line some depth. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. Now I'm grabbing Caddy again and I'm going to smudge that on top of this color, just on the outer. So just a little variation of color, but all within the same color family. Now I'm going back in with Sandbar and I'm gonna pop that onto the lower lash line towards the inner corner. And I love how that came out. Now I'm grabbing the color Tickled. Now this formula is very creamy, so just pick it up lightly with a, like an E17 brush, sorry, E36 brush, and I'm packing that into the inner corner of the eye. Again, just to give it a nice highlighting pop, and again, keeping it fun with color. It has such pretty reflex in this shade, and the light picks it up so well. Now I'm taking the M330 brush again and just that, using that tapered tip to blend this color. Off camera, I'm gonna pop on some lashes. So I'm just using just some doubled wispies, something very easy and it's not going to overwhelm this look. Wispies are my favorite go-to for looks that are a little bit more dramatic because it will always complement it and give you a little natural fluttery lash. Now I'm just gonna pick up the color Chad. This is from one of my um, Julia Pace palettes, but any black shadow, because I just felt like my lower lash line needed a little more depth, and I'm just using a liner brush to do that, and then blending my lashes into my falsie with some mascara. Now I'm gonna add in some bronzer. I'm using my Fenty bronzer in, I think it's like Coco, Coco Naughty. And I'm using that just to contour. I didn't do any cream or concealer contouring today. I'm just gonna use bronzer, keep it real simple, and just add that to the points of my face where I normally like it. Now I'm gonna pick up my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palette. I'm gonna use these blush colors just to give some color to my face. And I'm using my Morphe blush brush. I've really been loving it. It's the E4. I'm adding that just to apples in my cheek. I always smile when I put on blush, so that way I place it properly. And I'm going in with my Morphe M501 just to use the same highlighter from the Charlotte Tilbury palette to get to the high points of my face. I'm doing it very lightly. I don't want it to be too strong um, of an initial highlighter. I am gonna add in Boomin from the Shayla ColourPop collab to give it a little extraness of a highlight because what is life about a little extraness? So I'm just popping that onto the high points of my face and then blending it out with my finger. This is one of my favorite ways to blend my highlighter because it, the body heat really melts it pretty nicely into the skin and gives it a great blend. So I'm gonna complete this look with the Punch Lip Gloss from Morphe. This one is no longer available, but any lip gloss in this shade will complete this look. And the good thing about glosses is that you can really sheer them out and still get a touch of color. All right, guys, that wraps up today's makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, just take your time with it. I will, I'm telling you, me, this is something a little bit different. So anytime it's something a little outside of my comfort zone, I just take my time.
time while I get ready. Don't forget to go over to Gladys's video and check it out and don't forget to subscribe to Is That Your Hair? You guys, she keeps me inspired with some wig slayage and I know she will for you too. Down in the description box, you'll find all the products that I use and all the best ways to connect with me. I will be having a summer like beauty checklist ebook dropping pretty soon. So I want you to be a part of that. Get on my email list and I will send that over to you. Until next time, you guys, have fun, stay blessed, be positive, be peaceful, be loving, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.